Warning. These reactions require toxic chemicals. All of them should be performed at the fuel hood. Thanks. Salute, my dear chemists. Welcome to Akansarex channel. And today I'm gonna show you how to recycle palladium waste through the example of palladium dichloride. In my case, I need to wash off it from pieces of broken glass container. For doing this, I put a huge beaker onto a hot sand bath for even heating. Then poured 400 ml of distilled water to cover a whole bunch of initial material. While water was heating, I crushed bottle in little chunks by hammer and sorted them from duct tape and sticker. Moreover, I have removed palladium dichloride from my gloves using cotton ball to do not lose such expensive reagent. Ok, we are ready to start. I have added 15 grams of potassium chloride and stirred it until it completely dissolved. Then I put all pieces of glass container into solution. As you can see, solution instantly became yellow because of the reaction of potassium tetrachloropalladate formation. Frankly said, we could use hydrochloric acid, but it's not a good idea, because thus you might also dissolve impurities from floor and outside flat of glass pieces. After 15 minutes, all palladium went into solution. Further, I filtered it off using filter paper into an early May flask. And washed my beaker a couple of times with distilled water. Yeah, we successfully made a solution of potassium tetrachloropalladate. Look how much insoluble particles were in it. Then I have boiled off the excess of water from 400 to 50 milliliters in the end of procedure. At this stage, I changed the larger beaker to a smaller one for further oxidation step. While water was evaporating, I prepared an oxidizing mixture containing 15 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid and 5 ml of concentrated nitric acid. Now let's go to edit to tetrachloropalladate solution. In this reaction you can watch how palladium 2 is converting into plus 4 oxidation state. It precipitates as non-soluble potassium hexachloropalladate. Huh, such a vigorous nitrogen toxide is going out. <laughs> After reaction completion, a red precipitate of potassium hexachloropalladate was filtered off and washed by cold distilled water.
put aside the final product and let me show you how to extract more palladium. For doing this, I just recommend to add about 25 ml of tin chloride solution. Oh, did you see it? In this reaction, tin to plus ions reduce this palladium into palladium black. Likewise, you can see a nice green color of solution associated with the formation of palladium nanoparticles. By the way, for gold that color is purple. In conclusion, I would like to say that we successfully recycled all palladium wastes and obtained potassium hexachloropalladate that can be used again in reactions or put into palladium waste container. The same goes for palladium black, which were managed to precipitate with tin chloride. Nota: precipitation lasts around 4 hours for little amounts of metal. So freaking long. That was my first video. Hope you enjoyed. So guys, please put likes, leave your comments and subscribe to Akantarek's channel. See you! Uh.